Today, we are gonna be setting up the new Pro T VX launch monitor. We'll go through that step-by-step step in just a little bit, uh, but first, let's take a look and see what comes in the box. First thing that we see is a nice little letter thanking us for our purchase, signed by the quality assurance people from Pro T, ensuring that we've got the best quality launch monitor we can get. Then in the packaging, nice heavy duty styrofoam packaging to help keep everything secure with the Pro T VX logo. And here we have the launch monitor. Be very careful with it. Uh, but there it is, the Pro T VX. Looks fantastic. Cannot wait to get this put up and start hitting on it. I'm gonna kind of put that down up here. And then down here, it looks like we've got maybe a calibration board uh, for the setup process. We have a little box full of goodies here. Um, on the front, there's a QR code that I'm assuming directs you to this link for setup instructions. And then there's an email down here, support at protee-united.com in case you do need help with your setup. And then let's take a look inside. You can see we've got a power cable. Looks like this is a Cat6 Ethernet cable uh, for running data from the launch monitor to the computer. A, an Ethernet adapter. And then it looks like we've got some nuts and bolts and everything. Looks like this is maybe to mount your, uh, your launch monitor right to the ceiling. So that is everything that is included in the box. Um, you will also get a one year warranty for your launch monitor. So if you do have any issues, Prote will help you out there. Uh, one thing to note is that uh, Prote, no matter where you purchase this from, they do not accept returns on their launch monitor. So all sales will be final on this. So next up, we'll be mounting the Prote VX. So we're gonna be mounting the Prote to our Pro Golf enclosure. Um, you can also put it on a ceiling in your space if that's gonna work out better for you. Uh, the process is gonna be very similar and you can refer to the Pro T owner guide for details on that. So the first step in the process is to remove this plate. It's as simple as pulling this knob out. This knob will lock the plate in place. So you pull that out, slide it over and it just comes right off. Um, this is the plate you're either gonna put right on your ceiling where the launch monitor will be mounted, or in our case, uh, we're gonna put it on our uh, mounting kit that we have in our pro enclosure. So we're gonna be installing this on our temporary setup that we have here. Um, this is just kind of a prototype mount that we have. It's gonna function exactly the same as the final version will. And once that final version is available, we'll include a link to it in the description below. All right, so when you're looking at this, you'll see there's an arrow right here, and that's the side that's gonna need to face the screen. The arrow will be pointing towards the screen. So the next step is going to be running your power and ethernet cables. Uh, you can see we've already done that here. Uh, we just ran it across our crossbar of our enclosure and down the side. Uh, depending on your setup, it might vary a little bit how that looks for you. So once you have your cable run for your setup, we'll put up the launch monitor. So it's time to put up the VX launch monitor. You could probably do it with one person, uh, but they recommend two. And I would say for safety's sake, it's probably better to have two people doing it. Uh, so I've got Mike here to help me out. So let's do it. Yep. Just try not to touch the lenses. All right, so we're going to put the launch monitor up. You can see right now we've got this knob pulled out. Uh, once it's on, you give it a twist and it will snap into place and essentially lock the launch monitor up there. Um, but you wanna make sure that is out as you're installing it. And then you'll also see up on the bracket, uh, we've got these four channels here. 
So we are going to line these, uh, these little bars up with the channel on the bracket and we are gonna slide those into place. And then we will twist that and it is locked. So our final steps for the installation are hooking up our ethernet, our power, and then turning the unit on. All right, so we're over at the computer now. We've got the other end of our ethernet cable coming from the launch monitor. I'm gonna plug that into the back of the adapter that was included. And then we're going to find an open USB 3 port on the back of the computer and plug it right in. So as we mentioned before, during the unboxing um, on this box, they have a link to visit. Uh, so that's where we are now, protvx.com slash setup. Um, you'll see they've got um, all these wonderful instructions on getting it, uh, getting the ProTVX installed. Uh, but if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see a link here under installing the software to download uh, the Pro-T Labs, which is the software we will be using to run the launch monitor. So we're gonna click on that and start the download. So the download is done. Um, so we, on our computer, can just go to the recent downloads and run this exe file that downloaded. We will allow this app to make changes to our device and it starts the setup wizard. Uh, so we're just gonna click through the setup wizard, agree to their terms, and there's only one selection to install, so we'll go ahead with that. All right, so it looks like the installation has completed on the computer, so we are gonna click on Finish. Uh, so next, we're gonna go to our desktop, and they have created a shortcut to Pro T Lab, so we're gonna run that. And you're gonna get a pop-up asking uh, or saying that there's no license found in your system. Uh, so you're gonna to wanna to activate your license. Again, you'll just agree to the terms. Agree to their terms. Enter your information. You'll receive an email with information on your activation key, which you'll plug in here, hit activate, and you will be set to go. All right, so we have the launch monitor set up. We have the software installed. The next step is calibration. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is click on this little settings button and then go to device and calibrate system. And we'll see this view pops up. Uh, this is showing us the view from the cameras. Uh, so we're gonna take our calibration board and go put that down in our hitting area. Just kind of making sure that all lines up. And we wanna get this so the board is squared to the screen. They make it very obvious what should be facing forward, screen with the arrows. And that looks pretty squared up. So after that, we will come back here. If we hit calibrate world, so we adjust this to our calibration board. That looks about right. So we have adjusted uh, that smaller box. Uh, we moved the arrows to get that to fit our calibration board. And then once we're done with that, we'll hit done and the system is calibrated. So to make sure everything's working, we're gonna do a quick test shot and see how it goes. It's fat. But there you go. You can see uh, instantly, you can see the uh, close-up view of the golf ball rotating on the screen. Uh, you can click through the different views, show a video of me hitting way behind the golf ball, the club path, and the flight down the range. So that is it for setting up your new Pro-T golf simulator. Uh, if there's any other questions, feel free to reach out to us here and we'd be happy to help you out. 
And as always, like and subscribe for more content on building your own golf simulator setup.